Ted, right, let's, let's talk about a really interesting company, Pinterest. There's been a lot of uh, talk about this in the, uh, in the media. People are saying, will they become the next Facebook? You know, they've added another 120 million users recently. Um, you know, they've, I think they've reached now a billion users. Um, let's talk about the finances. I really want to hear about that. Uh, what, what have you found out? Well, um, you remember we did the analysis of Facebook recently, Moeed, and it, yeah. uh, it's good to see you again. Um, so if we look at Pinterest, um, and here comes, uh, uh, here comes the finances, um, very quickly, the first thing we see uh, from Pinterest, uh, and let me get my annotation up, is that uh, unlike Facebook, these guys are making a loss. So here wow. are the results from the last three years. Uh, and in 2019, you'll notice they made a loss of $1.4 billion. Wow. So if you remember Facebook generating lots and lots of cash, trading on a P ratio of about just over 20 times earnings, um, it's a 40% uh, uh, net margin. These guys are making a loss. What's driving the loss looks to me like this line up here. So lots of research and development going on. And you'll see that this, uh, I don't know, it's 1.3 billion in 2019. I don't know exactly uh, what that relates to. Um, but, you know, you know that they're, they're, they're making a decent, uh, you know, a reasonable gross profit margin, 73%. Um, but they are operating at a loss at the moment. And, 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 that's, and that's this line here, even the loss from the operations because of their R&D. Right, that's a hefty one. It is. Now, if we look at their balance sheet, what we do notice on their balance sheet is that they've actually got lots of cash. So these two numbers up here, you'll notice they've got lots and lots of cash, which means their current assets is very high. Right. So these guys have got their, their current assets is very high. They've got lots and lots of cash sitting on that balance sheet, and that's allowing them to run at a loss. And they're not going to run out of cash soon. OK, so they've got plenty of time in order to sort their business model out, make some money, start generating cash, start making a profit. But they certainly they may be tagged as the fa next Facebook in the uh, in the media, but they're certainly not looking like the next Facebook uh, in terms of their financials. That's interesting because the share prices has risen a huge amount just in the space of the last few months. Well, you're absolutely right. The share price is going up. Let's have a look at that share price. So here is the share price from today. Uh, we'll notice um, down the bottom, uh, we see the market cap is $54 billion. Uh, um, the net asset value, so the numbers we were just looking at here, so yeah. this is the net assets, less the liabilities, which is the shareholders equity. That's this bit down here. And you'll notice that the, the, uh, the equity, the net assets of this company uh, is 2.2 billion. So again, wow. we notice here that they've raised lots of money and they are making losses with that money. So at some point, they've got to start making money. They've got to start returning that investment to the shareholders. Yeah. So they're sitting on lots of cash. That's absolutely not a problem. So cash, you know, in terms of, you know, that th they can pay their bills. They're not going to go bust very soon. But what this does tell us is that, first of all, the P ratio and the yield is irrelevant. That's these two numbers here. Mm. Uh, that's this number down here because there are no earnings. So price to earnings is irrelevant. The market cap is here. OK, so that's the number we put in here. That's from their net asset value. So in effect, you're paying about 52 billion more than the company is worth in terms of its breakup value. Obviously, you're paying for the future, the future potential. Uh, but this company is it's all jammed tomorrow. There's no jam today at the moment. Well, another another possibly, possibly expensive tech company. Another very possibly very toppy tech company a lot of talk in the media what is it now we're we're towards the end of uh, february 
2021. A lot of comment in the media about uh, uh, you know toppy companies, uh, very very expensive, very throffy. Uh, you know, is the kind of is it the last hurrah of the tech market? You know, is there going to be a cyclical uh, move out into the value stocks at the moment? Who knows? But uh, you know, if I was holding Pinterest, I would certainly set my uh, my stop losses pretty close, um, uh, and I'd want to be dancing close to the exit on this one. That's my opinion, not my advice, Moeed, uh, as yeah. we always uh, give that caveat. Yeah. So interesting, right? So if anyone's if anyone's selling to this company, then uh, I would assume. If you can help them make make more sales uh, and increase the annual revenue per user, can't remember what it is now. I think it's just over one dollars. Then uh, they're going to be very interested in uh, working with you if you can prove that. So very interesting Absolutely. to see the interest there. It looks like another ex possibly expensive business, but uh, the finances have helped us really understand a bit more about this company and its valuation.